Well, after 25 years, there was simply a need to do some resurfacing. And when you're going to do resurfacing of a track that's 5.3 kilometres long, great opportunity to also evolve the circuit in the same way the cars have evolved over 25 years. It's going to be faster. It's more challenging. The character of the track has stayed. We've kept the hero corners at turn 11 and 12, but the way that the track will be configured will be better for racing and certainly encourage overtaking. It's going to reduce lap times by about five seconds per lap, and there's going to be some great opportunities at turns one, turn three, turn six, turn nine and turn 10, and turn 13. One of the things we're most excited about is that at some of the turns, we've been able to realign the circuit, which provides really amazing racing benefit, but it'll also see the return of some really great usable green space along the lakeside that will return to community members. We've waited a long time to see Formula One back on home turf here in Melbourne. It is going to be an exciting season in 2021 and what we're going to see with the track modifications is some great new viewing areas that are really going to open up opportunities for fans to see even more of the action.